Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. On this Tuesday, we are in Holy Week, and that is, once again, it's the time between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday, Jesus' last days on earth prior to his death on the cross and then his resurrection. So we're going to look at some different verses that have to do with what God accomplishes, accomplished through Jesus' death and resurrection and what that means for us. Today we are in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3. And the writer says, The Son, Jesus, radiates God's own glory and expresses the very character of God. And He sustains everything by the mighty power of His command. When he had cleansed us from our sins, he sat down in the place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. So, this verse is focusing on Jesus' character and identity as God's Son, as God himself, as the second part of the Trinity. Jesus radiates God's own glory. Jesus demonstrated that who he was, expressing the very character of God through what we have written down in Scripture and the the record of his life and teaching and actions on the earth. And by the might of the power of his command, he could heal people, he could cast out demons, he could do a lot of things. But ultimately, his goal was cleansing us from our sins. That's what led Jesus to come to earth. That's what led Jesus to go to the cross, to suffer the worst possible physical, emotional, spiritual, relational pain that you could ever experience is what Jesus went through on our behalf. But that was for a goal that he longed to experience, the restoring of broken relationships so that we could be back into the right relationship with God. And it says that after he did that, he sat down in the place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. Jesus returned to his rightful place as God, as a part of God, the three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus was God emptying himself to come so that we could be restored in the only way possible. And that was through his willingness to pay the penalty that only he could. We could try to, but we would never have been able to. But it was God's love for us that led him to the cross. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you that you are the one who welcomes us into your presence because of your death and resurrection, that is possible. To come and to receive forgiveness and cleansing and be restored to a right relationship with you. And then the good news is that you are still in control. You are still on the throne and you come and enter our life to guide and direct and empower us to live a life so that we could reflect your glory through our words and actions. God, help us to have that right attitude of gratefulness so that we could then live in a life that would be a better reflection of who you are so that others could know the good news for themselves as well. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So once again, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 says, The sun radiates God's own glory and expresses the very character of God, and he sustains everything by the mighty power of his command. When he had cleansed us from our sins, he sat down in the place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God in heaven. That's good news. Jesus is right there celebrating what he accomplished on our behalf. Hey, and let me make one more little plug to invite you to stop by the Community Covenant Church in Twisp to participate in our Journey to the Cross prayer experience. It is. Well, it chronicles the 12 different events in the last week of Jesus' life. And it's a time for prayerful reflection. It's a multi-sensory um, experience. 
and it'll help you to focus on the real meaning and purpose of Jesus coming to die and to rise again on our behalf. So that's available at the Community Covenant Church um, this evening um, through Friday evening from 6 to 9. It's open, self-guided. And then it's also open on Saturday morning from 9 to noon if you'd like to better come at that time. So God bless you, and I hope that you can take advantage of that. And if not, have a blessed week. Take care. Bye-bye.